I sense a soul in search of answers. Greetings! It's always a pleasure to see one of my best customers. I know that you've been venturing deeper into the labyrinth. And there's a story I was told that you may find worth the time to listen to. One of the men who returned from the labyrinth told me about a mystic anvil that he came across during his escape. His description reminded me of legends I had heard in my youth about the burning hellforge where powerful weapons of magic are crafted. The legend had it that deep within the hellforge rested the anvil of fury. This anvil contained within it the very essence of the demonic underworld. It is said that any weapon crafted upon the burning anvil is imbued with great power. If this anvil is indeed the anvil of fury, I may be able to make you a weapon capable of defeating even the darkest lord of hell. Find the anvil for me, and I'll get to work. In spiritu sanctum, predictum otium, efficio obitus ut inimicus. Let this tome serve as your warning. This is a forbidden place. Return from whence you came and your life will be spared. Horizon, master of the disciplines that summon and bind creatures to this plane. This is a place of great power. Hmm. <laughs> 
I can't carry any more. Nana.
not enough mana. Then by binding the spirit to the crafted rock, it is given life. You seek knowledge concerning the wars of hell, do you? 
cryptic tomes speak of great battles that determine which of the demonic lords are to rule over hell. They also mention a bitter rivalry between two of these lords, Osmodon, who led the horned death against the armies of light, and Belial, known as the Lord of Lies. Their hatred of each other is eternal. The reasons for their loathing lost even to themselves. Tales abound that the mad wizard Horizon somehow trapped the lieutenants of these two lords of hell within his sanctum. There can be no more dangerous a path to tread than the one that falls alongside of demons. Should you also seek this path, watch your life and your soul very carefully, my friend. Well, what can I do for you? A bold tale indeed. My limited time beneath the cathedral leaves me purely equipped to offer you any help with this. But, as always, you'll find Cain well versed in legends and folklore. Hello, my friend. Griswold speaks of the Anvil of Fury, a legendary artifact long searched for but never found, crafted from the metallic bones of the razor pit demons. The Anvil of Fury was smelt around the skulls of the five most powerful magi of the underworld. Carved with runes of power and chaos, any weapon or armor forged upon this anvil will be immersed into the realm of chaos, embedding it with magical properties. It is said that the unpredictable nature of chaos makes it difficult to know what the outcome of this smithing will be. I sense a soul in search of answers. You must destroy the two demons that Horizon has trapped within his sanctum at all costs. Should they escape from their imprisonment, they will create a link to this world that will make what lies below the cathedral seem like a children's tale. There are many artifacts within the labyrinth that hold powers beyond the comprehension of mortals. Some of these hold fantastic power that can be used by either the light or the darkness. Securing the anvil from below could shift the course of the Sinwar towards the light. Earth and walls and thatched canopy do not a home create. The innkeeper Ogden serves more of a purpose in this town than many understand. He provides shelter for Jillian and her matriarch, maintains what life Farnham has left to him, and provides an anchor for all who are left in the town to what Tristram once was. His tavern and the simple pleasures that can still be found there provide a glimpse of a life that the people here remember. It is that memory that continues to feed their hopes for your success. The Creature of Flame by Horizon. Should be interesting reading. The Creature of... Thank you. 
It seems that I may have brought something into this plane that even I cannot control. The creature that fell into my astral trap is a very deadly demon. I've been able to bind it at the bottom of a pit, but it kills everything that I've sent there in attempts to defeat it. While it cannot escape, it does block the tunnels that lead to my protected haven. I am tempted to use the switch to open the tunnels to see if it will just leave, but I fear it is smarter than most of the lesser demons I have trapped before. If I could just lure it somewhere else,
The Lieutenant of Belial is known as Grim Spike. Beware this demon, for his strength appears immeasurable. Reading the scroll, and therefore speaking his name, near an arcane circle of binding will surely summon him there. Hmm, near a circle of binding, eh? I can't carry any more. I can't carry any more.
Morta Vespa, Gaia Inumino, Evegin Jatan Luagratan. Ha, 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 ha. 